Welcome back everyone. Um, about a month ago I put out a video tutorial on how to set up the NFL mod for Legend Bowl. Um, since then a lot of things have updated with the game and there's been some changes and updates to the mod that the community has been doing so I wanted to put this together real quick uh, to kind of correct and give everybody something more current. Um, so if you take a look under Super Pixel Games Discord, uh, they have some new channels uh, so they've been busy over there. Um, so under, under modding you're going to see user submitted mods this is where we're going to find the latest build. Uh, so I'm going to download this. Just drop it on my desktop. I already have one there, but that's okay. So let me scrub what I have. And I'm going to download it to my desktop. Yes. Now I'm going to open this so I can take a look at it. Okay, let me trash that because we don't need that. So I'm going to extract what I just downloaded. Okay. And included, they have a README, which kind of goes through the steps as well, but I figured why not put it together in a video as well. Um, so we'll push that, close that. I'm going to open up Windows Explorer. Now, this is a piece, too, I think, where there was some confusion, because um, before I had just gone to start, run, and I used the variable um, percent local app data percent to open, uh, which you can get in there this way is one way to get into it. Uh, the other way to get into it is just navigating. Go to your C disk, users, uh, your user profile. <clears throat> and then in here, if you don't see app data, that's okay. We're just going to click on View, Options, the View tab. Uh, we want to click Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives. Click OK. If it doesn't work the first time, go back into Options. Um, make sure this is selected. Click OK. And then we should see app data. So we can go into this folder, and then we want to go into Local. And then I'm just going to type L. It's going to take me to my L. So here's Legend Bowl. Um, so I already have one here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to scrub this file. Let's just vaporize it. We don't need it. Um, before dropping this one into your app data local, I recommend you rename the one that exists. Don't delete like I did. This way, at least you have a backup copy <clears throat> Excuse me, of all the game files that were there prior to you dropping the mod. So next, we're just going to take this Legend Bowl folder, and we're going to. you can either move it or copy it. I'm going to move it in here. Um, and that's it. At this point, you're ready to go. One of the things that I've noticed is when I do the mod and I drop it and I load it, I have PS2 buttons. I don't like PS2 buttons. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my latest backup. I'm going to take and copy my save data INI. Copy this, and I'm just going to drop this into the new one that I copied from the mod. I'm going to replace this, and this is going to keep my buttons. Uh, so I'm going to have my Xbox buttons. At this point, the mod is done. There's no need to drop any JSON roster files or anything. I know that was a step that I had included, was, which is incorrect today. So at this point, we're done. We can launch the mod and have fun playing NFL mod um, on Legend Bowl. So I'm going to load this up. And the first load after dropping the mod folder in here is going to be a little bit slower. That's normal. Uh, that's actually a good sign. And as we can see, we already have, we see the updated textures. I do want to go into teams though and rosters and just take a look. And we can see that all the updated rosters are here, uh, updated players. This is awesome. Again, amazing work by the community. Appreciate everything that they're continuing to do to support this mod. Um, so at this point, let me get out of here, close out. Um, so hopefully this helps people. If it did help you, please um, leave a like, um, hit the like button and um, have fun playing the NFL mod on Legend Bowl. Take care, everyone.